Hey guys, welcome back. I think I have what is going to be a pretty interesting video for you RAV4 people. Here in this box behind me, I have a brand new Vanguard roof rack, which is a Prinsu lookalike roof rack. But with this version, it uses these stock mounting locations for the roof rails. So it looks just like a Prinsu roof rack, but installation is going to be hopefully so much easier. And you don't have to drop the headliner like you have to do with a Prinsu. I like the Prinsu, it looks great. Price-wise, of course, it's a little pricey, but by the time you add in the roof rails and a basket, the Prinsu is still kind of in line with what I spent on my other trials. I just didn't like the way those looked as much. So all of that stuff actually got returned. But anyways, I am looking forward to opening this box. I'm a little nervous because it's kind of banged up, but let's cross our fingers that it's all there and hopefully comes together nice. So as you can see, the box is a little banged up. It's been taped a few times. I've had really bad luck with roof racks. I didn't make a video about it, but Amazon kind of screwed me before. And here you can see all of these mangled boxes that held the other roof racks that I attempted. I just couldn't believe that they sent me these packages so just completely destroyed like this. But I'm moving on and I'm going to try this new Vanguard roof rack. And I really hope this is the one. I really hope this one looks good and I hope it comes together. So I'm gonna open it up, start putting it together and see how it looks. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna open this up and just pray that it's all there in one piece. There really isn't any info anywhere about this roof rack. There's no other videos, no instruction manual, nothing online. I even messaged the company and I never even heard back. This one I purchased from their website. It was on sale. It is available on Amazon as well. I will have a link below to it. And on Amazon, you'll see that the reviews are pretty bad. There's only a couple of reviews and the people weren't happy with it. I guess one of them arrived bent. One guy had to adjust the feet of it so it sat better. So we'll see. I really want to make this one work because I really do like the Prince U rack, but I don't want to drop the headliner. Okay, so far so good. One of the comments was that it looked used when he opened it. This one looks like it's all here. I think it looks like it's actually packaged pretty nice. Lots of pieces though, holy cow. Yeah, I definitely think it looks packaged nicely so far. Looks like my feet for the rack. Nuts and bolts. We'll have to be careful. I definitely don't want to scratch anything up. I'm actually still thinking about uh, having it painted by the same guy who did my uh, calipers. So I might have it painted, we'll see, because unfortunately it comes with silver nuts and bolts, which is kind of a bummer because my whole car is all black and this is all black. Uh, the silver is definitely going to stand out. So we'll see. I might end up painting the whole thing, but yeah, I've got to get, get it together first. Okay, still no instructions yet, but I see these are numbered. Another layer here. Here's one of the side rails. Looks pretty good. I guess that is their logo right there. A little like target site thing. Still, wow. There are no instructions in this thing. That's the front air dam it looks like. Okay, well yeah, this is gonna be interesting. There are no instructions um, oh geez, I'm sure I can figure it out. All of these are numbered and they're all different lengths for these pieces. So I'm going to have to figure that part out. Can't believe there's no instructions in here. And there's no instructions online anywhere either. Well, I guess this video is going to be popular because if anybody buys this rack, they're going to have to watch this video on how to put it together. All right. I know from the few pictures that I have seen that this is the front. This is where the front valence would go, air dam, whatever it would be called. So this would actually be the left side. So we can try that. I just want to hold it up and see how it's going to look on the car at least. I think it looks, and all the metal looks good. Like it feels pretty solid. So far so good. I don't see any scratches. All the plastic is intact. So I'm actually going to go over here, hold this on the car, just to kind of see how it looks. All right, so here's the car and this is going to sit right there all that uh, that is gonna look good 
I like how long it is. It matches the angle of the roof and gives you a flat level surface up here. This is gonna be really nice. Hopefully. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna lay out all the pieces and try to figure out how this is going together. Okay, so I have all of these pieces laid out here and then I just have the sides over there. I can't for the life of me understand why these would all be different lengths. With no instructions, I'm gonna to have to think about that. But if these are the crossbars that go this way down the rack, you'd think they were all the same length and none of these are the same. These are a little close, but they're all different. And that's all straight there. And then I have one bar that's just square like that. And then all of these brackets are a little different. You can see how that's curved. This one's curved the opposite way. These I assume are for the OEM mounting locations. There's two sets of those, so that makes sense. And then I have these curved ones here. Um, so ugh, I'm already kind of stumped. I'm gonna have to look online and try to look at the pictures again. Again, there's really nothing online about this at all, but I'll have to look at their website, see if I can make anything out from the couple photos that they have on there. Uh, so to be continued. Okay, well, I think I at least figured out the brackets to mount this to the roof. Looks like I have to remove that 10 millimeter there at the end by my hand. It doesn't come with a bolt for that hole right there. And there's nothing there from the factory. Actually, I don't know if it has one in the bag. I'll have to check. But I think it goes there like that. This is a, the shorter bracket and looks like this fits right there. And again, that, that bolt would have to come out. So that's as far as I've gotten so far. That's my first step. Got to keep working on it. So I think I have a development so far. I did call the company. It is Saturday, but they are actually open. I spoke with somebody and they are supposedly sending me a manual it hasn't arrived yet and it's been a couple hours yet, but I'm here looking at everything. I just measured the roof rails of my car because I was really confused about something. First off, here's a screenshot of what the rack is supposed to look like. This is the rack fully assembled from a photo from their website. Now here are my rails that go down the rack. And if you count it in the picture, there are seven rails and I have eight of these. So these are all right to the edge. I have eight of these and then one square one right there. But if you come to this end, they are, every single one of them is a different size. So I'm like, how the heck can this be possible? So what I did is I just took my tape measure out and I measured the OEM rails that are up there. You can't really tell because they look like they're straight, but they actually curve in a little bit towards the rear. So the front is something like 43, 44 inches apart. And then back here, they were about 41 inches apart. So that makes sense why these are all different lengths. And it must be the longer one is in front and they get progressively shorter as it goes towards the rear. Also, I noticed that on this side, they don't look totally square. So you can see how that's slanted. This one slanted the opposite direction, that one slanted the opposite direction, and that would make sense because they would have to taper if the roof rails tapered towards the rear. So a little bit of progress. I dedicated this afternoon to work on this, and I'm not really making any progress at all, but I'm glad I discovered that. I hope the manual shows up soon before they close here on Saturday, but if not, I think that was a good discovery and I'm gonna keep tinkering with this. Yep, there's the roof rack. Okay, so I think I confirmed that theory. Uh, so this piece right here is a couple pieces up and it looks like it does work and it is gonna fit in here. But yeah, so, so far that's what it looks like. I still haven't heard back from the company. I called them again and they still have not gotten it to me yet. So I don't have the manual, uh, but we're out here in the garage. Caleb's gonna help me. And another thing that really, really sucks with all of these is this tape. This, it takes five minutes for each piece to peel this off. Like this stuff is ridiculous, but this is what I have to do to get each piece off. So that's been a pain in the butt. My fingers actually hurt from trying to take off this stuff, just off three of them so far. But all right, that's where I'm at for now. 
I'll keep working on this until bedtime for my kiddo. It's dark now, so I probably won't get it on the roof tonight. Uh, maybe tomorrow morning and get on the roof, but I don't know. We'll see. Here's the rack so far. It is looking really great so far. I think it's coming together really nicely. I just wanted to give you a couple updates on what I discovered. Uh, so each of these, like I said in the beginning, are numbered. One through eight, I believe. Yeah, so start back here. So the smallest one is number one, and it's going to be back here. Then you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then eight right here. And right now I'm actually working on the front bar right there. Everything is coming together pretty good. Uh, remember that these are angled. So you want the wider part on the front side, just of course the way angles work. And then also each of these rails has these access holes right there. And they seem to alternate back and forth. So the rear one has them on the right side. Then on this one, they are on the left side. Then here, they're on this side again. And then over there, and then right here. But then on these two, they are on the same side. And then for number seven, it's back to that side over there. Not sure really why that is, but there was no other way of doing this. That's the way it was. Not sure why I didn't alternate for that one. And then I should also mention on the bottom side of these bars, there is not this slot right here. So if you mess up, these slots will end up being on the bottom side and you want these on the top so you can anchor things down to your roof rack. So keep that in mind when you're putting these together. Look for these little slots and make sure those are always on top. Also, when you're putting this together, they are going to fit in this little channel right here. Down the whole side, there is a long dash right there then a short dash, kind of like Morse code. <laughs> and then you have this one here, then a short one, and these fit perfectly right inside this short little small spaces right there. I think that's it for the update right now. Next, I'm gonna work on that front end and try to get that front wind diffuser on. Okay, I'm up to the front piece right here, and it looks like these pieces slide inside this bar, the flat part of this flat nut, whatever it's called, is gonna be on the top side here. And I think that's right because it looks like this piece here is going to get attached to this lower bar. And then the top of this front windscreen is going to get attached right here. I didn't slide any of these pieces into the top one because the top one has those holes right there. So I'm assuming that I'm gonna use those. It's just that this piece here did not include those holes. So that's why it looks like this is what needs to be done. So far, everything else is going great. Everything else is together. It looks like it's straight and everything's good so far. All right, an update for the front end here. What I just did is take this wind deflector right here and I put it in place. And then I took a marker and I just lightly put a mark above where each of the holes are on this wind deflector. And that's how I was able to tell where to line up these things in these channels. This seems like it's going to be a major pain in the butt because if one slides out of place, I might have to take it all apart to realign them again. But I'm hoping it's going to be okay. This definitely has to be the way it's done because they give you exactly the right amount of these anchors and screws. Well, actually, no, they give you one extra. So there's one extra there. And there's one extra there. Otherwise, they give you the same amount you need to do it just like this. So I can't imagine it being anything different. So now what I'm going to try to do is hold that in place right here, get these screws into each of these holes without these guys moving. Otherwise, uh, that's going to be a challenge and I might have to do it over again. That actually went perfectly. I highly recommend doing what I did and just marking off an area on this bar so you can align those anchors in place. Then when I get this wind deflector in place, they were all exactly in the right spot. I did have to actually move a couple and I just used this and I stuck it in there and aligned it with the hole. So that all went great, but I do have a couple pointers. So this, these are all still loose. Definitely leave those loose, thread them in so they don't fall out, but leave them loose because then when you tighten down all of these screws around the outside, 
this may have to shift left or right just a little bit and you don't want to snug all these down and then potentially leave a gap here where this metal piece is hitting the side before this bar down here is tight to this wall here. So yeah, just leave this loose. I just tighten down all of the screws around. I'm gonna tighten these next. Uh, I think it also helps doing this on a flat surface. So I'm here in my garage, obviously, and all the corners are being supported. So I'm pretty confident that this is square and good. Like I'm shaking it, it's not tipping either way or anything. I just feel like if you've tried to assemble this on the car, thinking it might be easier, uh, I just feel like it's not all gonna align quite perfectly. I would definitely suggest doing it on a flat surface like this. The next task will be to figure out these feet. And these are what I still have over here. To figure out these and then get this mounted to the car. I feel like I have a good idea of how it's all gonna go. But because I've already lost daylight, I wanted to at least show you guys this first. And then I'll attack the actual mounting of it to my RAV4 Prime in the next video. But what do you guys think? Look pretty good? I think it's pretty neat. It seems very well built. It's all aluminum. Unfortunately though, I went through and I did the whole blackout on my RAV4 Prime. If you haven't seen those videos, go back and watch my channel and check those out. But all of the chrome is blacked out and now I'm gonna have all of this chrome. So I'm not really sure what to do about that. I might be able to look online and try to find some black bolts to replace these with. That would just cost a little bit more money. Uh, another option is I could have this all painted. I just worry that maybe the black paint won't stick to the nuts and bolts. I don't know. Let me know in the suggestions if you have any other ideas, but I, that's all I can think of right now because I just feel like it's really going to stand out a lot. So I don't know. I'll have to think about that. So I think I'm going to cut this video there. I want to get this video out to you guys to give you the opportunity of maybe buying one of these at this special Black Friday price. Today is... Saturday, October 28th, and it's like 7.30 p.m. So you might miss this anyway, but right now Vanguard is doing 25% off on anything on their site. I don't know a whole lot about the company. I'm definitely not sponsored by them at all. I can't even really recommend the company because they haven't responded to me and it's been multiple hours and they still haven't even sent me the instruction manuals. So I can't fully vouch for them, but what I can say after playing around with a few different roof racks and different options and looking at all these pricing, this so far is the best that I've seen. It's, it's really nice, it looks really solid, and that's why I wanted to get this video out to you guys so you have the opportunity to maybe pick one up at 25% off. After my taxes, I think it was about 409, something like that. Really not bad at all. You can buy roof rails that cost you pretty close to that. So up to you guys, but there it is. There's an option for you. I can't wait to see this on the car. I think it's gonna look pretty awesome. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.